This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Video is the way things are going today. If you don't have video, you need to really check into it because that's going to be the thing your wedding crowds are going to want to see. School dances, pretty much, yeah, we're in a video world, gang, like it or not. In other words, you're watching a video instead of reading a review on this because, yeah, video is the way to go. What we're looking at, though, is the actual, the actual screen materials, materials themselves. These are a couple of front projection screens from this place called Carl's Place. Carl's Place makes front projection and rear projection screens, the material for them. You are looking at right here, this is one that actually we use in your shows, it's been out numerous times. This is a roughly about, I think it's a 16 by 9 screen. I don't remember the size exactly, but it's huge. It's got fabulous, you know, the inside where the projection actually goes on, incredible colors and the accuracy that this can give you. I love my rear projection screens, but when I'm looking for, you know, the brightness, I'm looking for the, the clarity, you can't knock the front projection screens and the price from Carl's Place is incredible. I've got the 16 foot wide versions right here, maybe 16 and change. I also have the 10 foot wide. Well, it's actually more of a nine foot wide, but I use it with my 10 foot I-beam truss. A lot of us have got that I-beam truss that we've had for a number of years. You know, we bought it and hung a bunch of lights up on top, thought that was the coolest thing. Well, after a while, you probably haven't used it. Now, you can hang this type of screen, the nine foot version. You hang it with some six inch bungees, they're little ball type bungee connections. You can hook a couple of those together if you need to. You go around your trussing, through the grommet on the screen, and you get a nice solid connection that pulls the screen evenly right to the bar of your I-beam. So you're going to the poles, boom, boom, boom. You go across the top on the I-beams, but it gives you a nice even pull. You're not doing like you, with a J, you know, J type of hook with this, where it's going to be pulling and kind of you know, forward and backwards and not giving you a nice, nice even pull. So again, I use my I-beam, I-beam trussing. The nine foot fits in the 10 foot, which is two five foot sections. This one, of course, I said was over 16 feet. So I've had to add some. I've had another section to give me the 15 and I've had a little bit more to get wide enough for this. A couple of pictures. Let's show you these guys in action. So there you saw, using the big screens at a youth rally and the small screens at a wedding. They're really flexible. You can do some really cool things. And of course, you didn't have that, you know, the stretch screen thing on the side where I'm 10 feet wide, but because of the stretch screen and the bungees, I'm really only getting maybe a six foot, maybe seven foot wide image. You can get the full image with these screens from Carl's Place. I'll put a link in the description below where you can check out all the different screens they have because they've got all sizes, they've got, and they also have, if you don't have the trussing, they've got some really cool options for getting those things and getting it all stood up. So in the description, check it out. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.